Hey guys, what's up? Monkle Zonky here, and welcome to my 1 to 99 fletching guide. In this guide, I'll be showing you how to achieve fletching. First of all, the method that I would recommend, and the method that I chose to do personally on my route to 99 fletching. And then I'll show you a couple other methods, one of them that is a lot cheaper but slower, and a couple of them that are faster and a lot more expensive. But anyway, starting out at level 1 fletching, what you need is regular logs. You can either cut these if you have a low wood cutting level uh, and want to train both at the same time, or you can buy them off the Grand Exchange. These are rather expensive, they're 400 GP each. However, you're not going to be using very many of them, so that's okay. Uh, from level 1 to 5, you cut bowstrings. You just want to use your knife and the logs that should be in your tool belt and fletch away. And you need 78 logs to get from level 1 to 5 fletching. And then once you're at 5, um, from 5 to 20, you're going to be fletching short bows um, from 5 to 10. And then you'll need 154 logs to get to level 10 fletching from level 5. Um, these are a bit faster. They're not stackable like the arrow shafts, unfortunately. And then from 10 to 20, you want to cut shield bows. And you'll need 332 logs to reach level 20 from level 10. But as soon as you cut all these, you can just drop them or sell them. They're pretty much junk items, so they won't sell for very much, and then move on to oak logs. Now that you're level 20, you need oak logs, and you can buy these off the Grand Exchange, or cut them yourself if you need to train your woodcutting level as well. Just be aware that your woodcutting level will train faster than your fletching level, so unless you want to be inefficient while woodcutting, you will have to uh, buy a few logs from the Grand Exchange. But anyway, to get all the way up to the level where you can cut willow logs, um, you do need 793 total oak logs. That is for the short bows and the shield bows. So the first 210 of these logs, you're going to be cutting with your knife and to make oak short bows. And again, these are just junk items. You can sell them in the GE for a very small amounts, or you can just drop them. It's up to you. And then the remaining 583 logs, you will be cutting into oak shield bows. And just continue doing this. Again, we're still at the stage where it won't take very long uh, to level up, so this should all go by quite fast. The next stage is willow logs. In total, you will need 1,990 willow logs to get up to the level where you start cutting maple. So, um, what I would recommend is just to buy these off the Grand Exchange. They're usually between 15 and 20 GP each, so they're very cheap. Um, the cheapest logs in all the game actually, so you don't have to worry too much about losing money. But again, uh, just start cutting the willow short bows. And then, as soon as you level up to level 40, you can start cutting the willow shield bows, which are a little bit faster. And you're going to need to cut uh, 445 short bows and 1,545 shield bows. And this won't take very long. We're not yet to the grindy stages yet, but uh, they will come. Don't worry. The next stage is maple logs after you reach level 50. And we will be going all the way to 70. We'll, we will not even be touching you short bows because those are just kind of expensive to make and also not very much faster than maple shield bows. So I'd recommend um, as soon as you unlock the shield bows to go all the way to 70 just with maple logs. So first of all... You're not at 55 quite yet, so you need to craft maple short bows. And you will need 11,102 total of maple logs to get uh, you up to the yield, you shield bows. So just make those short bows until you reach 55, and then from 55 to 70, uh, make maple shield bows, 9,795 of them, so that's quite a few. However, um, this does go a little bit faster. Crafting maple shield bows is about 85k XP per hour, uh, so this won't take you too long. Again, you can craft these all the way to 99 if you'd like. Um, you will gain a little bit of profit. Uh, a maple shield bow sells for about 90 GP each, and the maple logs are usually about 40 to 50. I can't give you an exactly accurate GE price because they change all the time. Um, however, I can tell you that just cutting these maple shield bows always yields a profit, even though they are quite slow, so I wouldn't recommend sticking with them. However, if you really struggle to make money, um, and this is one of your first 99s, you can go all the way to 99 on these bows, and you will make a little bit of money. Now, the next stage of our journey, which is 70 to 85, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're no longer cutting we're going to be stringing bows because stringing bows is faster. The reason why we didn't string bows earlier is because it was too much of a GP loss stringing these lower leveled bows. 
Um, so from now on, we're going to be stringing you shield bows all the way to level 85. You can just buy these off the GE and buy bow strings as well. Um, it does depend on the current GE prices. However, I can tell you that quite often you shield bows do lose a little bit of money. So just keep that in mind. You won't lose much. Um, when I trade to 99 fletching I only lost about 0.1 GP per XP meaning getting 99 fletching took me about uh, 1 mil or so in total however um, the prices do fluctuate sometimes this is a little bit more expensive than others but I can guarantee you that stringing you, you shield bows buying the bow strings and buying the shield bows off the GE is never going to lose you a ton of money and it is quite a bit faster as you can see my character strings these bows much faster than he would cut the logs therefore making this faster experience per hour. Stringing you sh shield bows is about 120 to 130k XP per hour, so it's quite good. It's not as AFK as cutting the logs. The reason why I choose for you guys not to cut you logs is that is very expensive. You lose a lot more by cutting the logs, and it's also slower experience, so that's why you want to string them. Now from 85 to 99, you need a ton of magic shield bows and bow strings. Again, you can stick with U-Logs, but I wouldn't recommend doing this as cutting magic shield bows or stringing magic shield bows isn't that much more expensive and it is quite a bit faster experience per hour. So just as with the U-Shield bows, you buy magic shield bow unstrung off the GE, they're usually quite cheap, and buy bow strings. You will lose a little bit of money off of this, but it will not be much. Um, usually around what you know in be anywhere between one to three GP per XP so it is quite cheap for a buyable skill and it is sig significantly faster than cutting the U shield bows with my testing this is 185 K experience per hour so it's quite fast and again just string these uh, you're gonna need to string hundred and six thousand eight hundred and forty bows to get from 85 to 99 so that sums up our regular methods. It's time to go into our other methods, which can be slower and cheaper or faster and more expensive. But you might want to look into them if that is the kind of fletching that you'd rather do. So if all you want to do is lose as little money as possible and you don't mind it being really slow, you can cut the maple shield bows from 55 to 99, as I said earlier. You will need 220,717 maple logs and this will take you quite a while, however it may be worth it to you depending on how difficult it is for you to make money and also how patient you are. If you are someone that's kind of in the middle and you don't mind losing a tiny bit of money but you don't want to also spend a little bit more money for the faster experience of magic shield bows you can string U shield bows all the way to 99 from 70 and this will take you 163,958 U shield bow unstrungs and bow strings and again this will be faster much faster than maple shield bows but much slower than magic shield bows and the cost will be right in the middle with a tiny bit of loss versus a small amount of loss with the magic shield bows or profit with the maple shield bows a method that I would not recommend but you can try out if you would like is from 95 to 99 you can string elder shield bows Again, you don't want to buy them because it is more loss if you buy the Elder Logs and cut them yourself than if you just buy the Unstrung Elder Shield Bows and string them. Although the Unstrung Elder Shield Bows are very expensive and you will lose a ton of money, again it depends on GE prices, but you usually lose about 2k per bow. Um, so these are very expensive and I would never recommend doing them. However, they are quite a bit faster than even Magic Shield Bows. These are about 250k XP per hour. So if that sounds like it's worth it to you um, and you don't mind spending a ton of money, again, there are better methods if you want to spend money. However, I would just figured I'd mention this in the video since it is a method that's out there. And last but not least, the second fastest and probably the best method of training fletching in the game is broad arrows. You do have to unlock the ability to make these from any Slayer Master. It costs 300 Slayer points and they only require 52 fletching to make. The reason why these are so good is you make them extremely fast and they're also very good XP. Making these is about 550k to 600k XP per hour so it's extremely extremely fast. One of the fastest methods of skilling in the game and also it is extremely expensive. Right now it is right before the bonus XP weekend so I cannot show you an accurate price. However, most of the time making these is about 9 GP per XP. 
um, which means to get to level 99 from 52, it would cost you um, anywhere between 100 to 150 mil, again, depending on prices. However, if this feels like it's worth it to you because it's so fast, if you have lots of money to spend, um, I would recommend to go for this method only if you can afford it, just because it's very enjoyable um, and just extremely fast. And if you're wondering what the fastest method of training fletching in the game is, because I did hint towards that, that is making dragon darts. However, unless you want to lose like a bill getting 99 fletching, don't even t mess with them. So that's why I'm not putting them in the video, because they are just too expensive. But anyway, that's about all for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Stay tuned for future guides, and farewell.